Oh, it's about uh, 620 or something like that. And I'm here because I was hoping we'd get some better light. Do some GoPro home and there's cool trees over there and kind of this cool space. But we were not so lucky this morning. So instead, we're just going to do some racing. Um, but more specifically, we're going to be doing some racing on uh, 3-cell. So, I'll tell you more about that once we get set up. So, I know what you're saying. 3-cell, Patrick, why would we be racing 3-cell? Well, the answer is clearly you haven't been on Facebook enough. Um, <laughs> there's actually a race going on. Uh, sponsored by 533 and what they're doing is they're saying everyone's gonna run the same motor the same prop we're gonna be a minimum weight of 460 grams and then we're all gonna run three cell now what motor we're running we're gonna be running a 2207 roughly 1900 kV whatever it is so your typical 6s setup but we're gonna run on three cell now why would we do that the reason we're doing that is because it's really fun to fly slow quads and if you've ever watched DRL or uh, what's the other one DCL all those other those big racing leagues they have really slow quads and it keeps the racing really close together and it kind of ensures that everything makes ends up really exciting and the other thing we're doing here is since we're running a 2203 cell that's plenty of battery you could basically run these things for full throttle for about three minutes. So it ends up being long heats. It gives you a chance to catch up if you make a little mistake. So it just kind of excites every part we like about close racing. So it should be real fun. So the setup I'm running, I don't have the exact motors, is uh, basically just my normal setup. And that would be the HQR38 prop with the Xylo 2250kV motors. So I've got a bit of a kV advantage on the spec motors. So what I'm doing is I'm just running a throttle cut to make the kV um, just about the same. It doesn't really matter anyway. It's just practicing with the slow quad that's going to help you out. So. Couldn't have cut that any tighter, holy crap. Alright, so here's what I've been up to. Since my quad isn't exactly spec anyway and I'm running low on the props, uh, what I did is I put a heavier prop on, I have the R42, and I'm going to just lower my throttle limit as much as I can until it becomes super slow. So hopefully being slower than the proper spec will 
help me learn how to take lines, how to carry momentum better. So that's kind of the goal. I believe I'm at 75% right now. So three cell, 75% throttle. Let's stay out of puddles. Oh my god, I just clipped that fence. This is the first time I've really had a problem with this with the quadiction gates, but this stupid black lining here is killing me. Yeah. One hander. <clears throat> Wonder how many packs have flown already. We're good, we're good, we're good. Last one felt really controlled. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> well, there you have it. That was another fun day of pretty mediocre flying, but it was definitely um, a good learning session. I learned a lot by using 3-cell and uh, trying out the different stuff. You definitely learned how to carry momentum quite a bit and I'll be hopefully able to transfer this to my, uh, not only the spec racing, but to my actual 6S flying and regular multi-GP class stuff. So I encourage you to try this. Um, you'll definitely kind of bring out different things in your flying that you haven't seen before and I don't know. Maybe next week I'll try uh, 
more three cell and then switching to 6s or maybe i'll just race mason again um the racing would be really good with three cell against mason because we're already so close with 6s so anyway stay safe have fun uh flying stay out of the riots and uh hopefully see you next time